Hello, my name is Lucas Sanchez and with me today is Shay Barbuana, Lucas Otsa and Oliver Spooner and we will be presenting on behalf of Team Design Group 3. The design we are proposing is a small sized warehouse located in Parkwood region. The warehouse has been designed for flat land in a residential area. The client requested the design to be a warehouse storage roughly covering about 100 meters square area with an opening accordingly wide enough for its purpose. The preliminary design originally consisted of a structure 12 meters long, 8 meters wide and a height of 5 meters plus 70 centimeters for the roof. After revision of the design, the roof height was modified to 35 centimeters so we could obtain a roof angle of 5 degrees. The roller door is 6 meters long and 3 meters high so several storage equipment can easily be operated in and out of the, um, the warehouse as the client requested. I will now hand you over to Lucas Hodgson. Hi, I'm Lucas Hodgson and I'll provide a brief of the building standards and the maximum loads that, we're, that we accounted for. Throughout the entire design process, the Australian standards for structural design actions and steel structures were used to ensure that the safety and longevity of the structure Using these Australian construction standards, the warehouse was designed to extend the maximum com combination of loads that it may experience during its lifetime. This includes the strength and durability to, in to endure any major operations within the warehouse that the structural components may be subject to. In addition to this, the warehouse was also designed to withstand winds of up to 205 kilometres per hour, which is equivalent to those of a Category, cyclone, category 3 cyclone while still maintaining the most economical design possible. Now Shay will discuss the structural components of the design. Hello, my name is Shay and I will brief over the design members and how they were selected for the design. The design incorporates three rafters and six columns. We reduced the design down to six columns as removing the three columns in the centre of the warehouse in order to provide one large open space that can be used as desired. This modification to the design also reduces the cost of the warehouse as less resources are required. The 96 metre square of open plan storage space is built using Australian code and is the most economical design able to still survive as one in 500 year storm. The design was modelled on advanced computer modelling software and all aspects of the design satisfied requirements. Hello, my name is Aldous Spooner and I will brief over the connection details. After the design members were selected, we also need to do, needed to assess what connection types would be the most cost effective for our design. Complying with Australian sta building standards, the connections were checked to ensure their stability against the maximum loads um, calculated from space gas. Our design incorporates both an apex connection, whereby rafters are connected, and a bracing connection, where columns are connected to rafters. Bolts were also selected to be the most economical for the design. Therefore, the connection types and materials we have selected are the most cost effective whilst ensuring the longevity of the warehouse design. In conclusion, our team design group has designed a storage warehouse to the dimensions specified by the client. After calculating all the load cases and assessing all possible members for the design, the most cost effective design was, was selected. On the behalf of Team Design Group 3, I would like to thank you for listening to our pitch.